What's up everybody? Captain Colin from Fresh Salt Fishing here and today we're going to be tying a Menhaden fly. We call them Menhaden down here in the south. They call them Bunker up north. I'm sure there's other names for them. It's a pretty simple fly. We've just got three different colors of EP. Uh, I'm using like a white, an off-white, and then like an orange for the gills and some flash and some red eyes. And that's about it. So this is an Umqua size 4. Model TMC 800S saltwater hook, and I'm using white denier 210 thread. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take one strand of flash, half it, give you four pieces, make sure they're even, and go ahead and tie them on towards the end of the shank. You want to kind of split them so you've got two going down one side of the shank and two going down the other. Next we'll be taking some of this orange or pink EP, whatever you have. You don't need much, maybe about an inch worth. We're just going to tie this in right in between those pieces of flash in the middle and then just go ahead and fold it back over. It is time to start building up your EP body. We're tying in the white EP on the bottom and the off-white on top. I'm going to kind of stagger it a little bit. I'm going to start with white on the bottom of the shank and we'll half it over the hook. And then when you tie your wrap on there, Make sure you kind of get your fibers to spread on either side of the shank. A little bit on the left, a little bit on the right. And that'll just kind of hide your thread wraps on the side. And I don't know what kind of vise you're using. Mine is a Peak Rotary. So I flip it back over and then we'll select a little bit of the tan. top and kind of taper it a little bit and same thing when we tie on these layers on the top make sure it kind of spreads a little bit on the left side of the hook a little bit on the right and brush back as you go so alternate top and bottom bottom first then the top and make sure your layers are getting slightly shorter as you get a little bit closer to the front of the hook All right, now once you get about halfway up the shank, I like to add in a little bit more flash, just another strand. I'm using some saltwater rainbow flash. As we get very close to the eye, we'll go pretty short with our EP fibers. Not worrying about the taper so much at this length, but you do still wanna make sure you're getting it spread on both sides of the shank. Now that I got my whip finish done, just gonna add a little UV cure there. I like to use my little travel toothbrush for my combing. Does a pretty good job grabbing the fibers and laying them down. Okay, you can see that's kind of where we're at right now. I want it to be kind of in a leaf shape. I'm gonna take it in here on the sides. All right. So you can see how we're getting much more of a leaf shape to it. All right. So now we got a little trim on. We'll get it back in the vise. Uh, I'm going to be using my red eyes. And I like to add just a little bit of some clear cure where I'm going to be putting them in. Let that kind of soak in. Dab on the back. Get your eye placement and then give it a little quick cure to hold that eye on there. Now that we got this one in, we're just gonna add in a little bit of a shell. A 
over and around the eye. Form this side of the head. Make sure your eyes are even. The eyes are not going to be on there terribly well yet, so I need to do a little bit more just to build up the head on the front and make sure that stays in place. Alright, just got a little bit more trimming to do. I don't want it to be too pointy anywhere, I just want it to be pretty rounded at the top and at the back. We can brush it out more as time comes and we just need to add the little black bunker dot. Take your black marker. And there she is. Little menhaden fly. So, um, probably do a little bit more trimming on it before it's done. But once it gets the water in there, it'll start to flow out a little bit better and it'll fish good anywhere you see menhaden um, definitely you can tie this as a bigger pattern too this one's about two inches long and I'll use it in the creeks for redfish but you could tie it in say like a four or five six inch pattern on a bigger fly and fish it like out in the harbors for the bull reds when they come through or something like that so thanks so much for watching guys we really appreciate you checking out the channel keep out there fishing filming fly tying, whatever it is you do for a good time, and as always, never unpack.